Can you tell me what you've got here and what it is you're offering to the crowds here at AOPA 2013? Absolutely. We have a portable air conditioning system for the airplane. Um, primarily it's used in the airplane. It can be used for other things. But we have an ice air conditioner. You just plug into the cigarette lighter in the plane. And then we have an air conditioner that is portable that runs on a compressor. So it was an option or a way to get air conditioning in an aircraft at a um, very reasonable cost. When we started out designing the unit for the aircraft, I didn't want to pay the $25,000 or so that it cost to put an air conditioner in a general aviation aircraft. So we designed the ICE air conditioner and we make four different models and we make those models in 12 and 24 volts. And the difference in them is how much cooling capacity you have or the time until your ICE runs out. So we made three different size coolers. The single fan units blow 200 CFM or cubic feet per minute. The dual unit blows 400 CFMs. So it'll cool a Cirrus aircraft off on a 100 degree day in about two minutes. And they'll last anywhere from 45 minutes to two and a half hours, depending on which unit you have. And these models sell for anywhere between five to $600. We have a lot of jets that use the ice air conditioners for pre-cooling the aircraft. And then they can also use the ice to put drinks in, et cetera. So they're going to take a cooler a lot of times anyway, so they use this as both capacities. Then we did what we call a real AC unit, and it's still a portable electronic device for the aircraft, so you don't need any STC approvals for the unit. Both of these units we make in 12 and 24 volt units. They're about 11,000 BTU unit or 8,000 BTU units. And we can control the amp draw. They usually draw about 30, 35 amps, but we can control those with a smart controller so that you can run it on 15 to 17 amps if you need to. These units run about $4,700 plus the install. The first time you put it in, you have to put an electrical connection in the plane. So you need to put a 60 amp breaker in the plane and a plug. So for that, some people will get a DER to sign off on it and doing 337. Others say that it's not a major change to the aircraft. Depending on what size alternator you have, uh, we recommend a 100 amp alternator. And um, with m most planes, that's sufficient. We've had people run them on 75 amp alternators. These units are absolutely, you get in the plane, turn it on, it works just like a regular aircraft air conditioner. You have to vent the hot air and you have to put a plug in the plane. So we tell people that may take two days on the first time of the install. The nice thing is you can take it out if you have too many people going or have too much luggage, you can take it out. So we find that a lot of people will take it out of the plane, you know, maybe 25, 30% of the time, and the others, you know, 75% of the time, they'll fly with it during the hot months. Or during the winter, they can just take it out to save the weight. What are the weights of the respective units? Real ACs are about 50 pounds, and then the ice air conditioner is anywhere from 30 to 50 pounds, depending on which unit and how much ice you put in it. Where can somebody get more information and find these things? They can look at our website, arcticaircooler.com. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by... Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.